where my ancestors come from. The four most important traditions, besides family and community, are music. Get your hands ready. Come on, sign language, American sign language. Music, mm -hmm. dance, put your thumb in, no three legs. Dance, <laughs> religion, and storytelling. And those four things are tools of a culture. In today's world, we might call them, or techno world, we might call them killer apps. But I'd like to start with one of those tools, the gift of music and song. Because you know what they say, if you want to learn about another culture, listen to the stories and the songs. In Zimbabwe, they say, if you can walk, you can dance. If you can talk, you can sing. Yeah, we'll see. Mm. Repeat after me. Ham bone, ham bone, where you been? Round the world and back again. Oh, ham bone, ham bone, where's your wife? In the kitchen cooking rice. Oh, ham bone, ham bone, where's your daughter? Down at the lake, swimming in the water. Ham bone, ham bone, where's your son? Down at the lake, having fun. Ham bone, ham bone, where you been? Round the. A long, long, long time ago when Africans were enslaved in America. We had to live in tiny little shacks with dirt floors, sometimes no windows. And the people who owned them lived in nice, fine houses with beautiful flower gardens, a screened-in porch where they could sit when it got hot. And when they had dinner on the table, the table was piled with food. And when they had a ham on the table, they would eat every bit of that ham and take the ham bone and give it to guess who? The slaves. Now, the slaves weren't allowed to read or to write. But even though they didn't know how to read or write, that didn't mean they weren't smart. They looked at that ham bone and they said the three most important words in African-American culture. They said, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> What can we do with this? You know what they did? Took that ham bone and dropped it in their beans to give their beans flavor. Took the ham bone out and gave it to their neighbor. Put it in their beans to give their beans flavor took the ham bone out and gave it to their neighbor, put it in their pot to give their beans flavor. flavor. That old ham bone went from shack to shack to shack to shack. And that's where that song comes from. Ham bone, ham bone, where you been? Round the world and back again. And that world was the only world they knew. But by passing that ham bone from shack to shack to shack, they created something, a community. It's the same with stories. When you passed and share our stories from person to person, place to place around this world, we are creating something, a larger community. 